My name is April Frederick, and today I'd love to talk to you about Handel's aria, I Know That My Redeemer Liveth, from the Messiah. We live in this in-between time, where Christ has been exalted, and he is reigning, but it doesn't always look like it. I think that this concept is illustrated in some really interesting ways in the music. First of all, there are these huge leaps in both vocal line and the violin line, these big, big, big leaps. I know that my Redeemer liveth. And the violin has lines like big leap. And these are all over the place, so just watch for them. And this is like an illustration of the disjunct of our experience in this already and not yet time. Second of all, what I call the worm motif. So when I sing, and the worms destroy this body. Then the violins say la da da dim ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. The worms doing their grim work. Then I say, yet in my flesh shall I see God. And I say it several times, slightly differently musically each time. And then I say, why? For now is Christ risen from the dead. And that same motif comes back. La da da dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum, and then it leaps up. Ba da ba bum, and so we we have a kind of a raising of the the eyes um, through the musical pitch. Now the faithful are sleeping with hope. It's not just worms. Finally, my favorite bit of the whole thing, I think. You have this lovely long sweeping phrase as I say, and now is Christ risen from the dead. It's like this huge upward movement of the soul as we choose to look at God and Jesus and what he has promised and who he says he is. And we are raised from the truth of everything that is happening up to that place where we can still believe that he will be faithful to what he has promised. A friend of mine who had seen me perform this several times saw me sing it last winter and commented, this is such a profoundly personal act for you. And it is. Every time I repeat, I know that my Redeemer lives. I'm sort of preaching to myself, if you will. I'm embedding that truth within me, no matter what my circumstances. So I hope that as you watch and as you listen, that you'll be able to just kind of consider what that might feel like for you to say, I know, I know this Redeemer will do what he said that he will do and that you enjoy how Handel plays out that statement of belief within the fabric of the music. I've sung this many times as, as a soloist over the years, and it always amazes me how countercultural it is. One of the biblical characters that challenges me the most in this idea is Job. This is the moment when he speaks the words which form the first part of the Arius text. I know that my Redeemer lives, and that he shall stand on the latter day upon the earth. And though worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see. Even across the distance of 5,000 years, I still find that text incredibly confronting and inspiring. Job was not denying the reality of his circumstances or the pain they were causing him. He was sitting in the dust, scraping his sores with shards of pottery. This was not a man in denial. But he was choosing to look beyond his circumstances to a greater reality. And he said, no, I know God and I believe that he will be faithful to his promises and that he will restore. It may not be in my body, it may not be in my life, but he will be faithful.
culture is terrified of death, and it's obsessed with trying to cling on to youth, and with avoiding suffering wherever it can. The Bible, in stark contrast, tells us that we can't avoid suffering because it's part of living in this broken world. It goes further and says that actually we are part of that brokenness. It says that we need a Redeemer, someone to bring us back to God. It also says that when suffering comes, we have a choice about how we receive it and respond to it, and about whether or not to believe that there is a greater purpose in that suffering. Jesus is the first fruits, and this is that agricultural term of the first portion of the mature crop, which tells us that the rest will follow. So even though our circumstances may not look like God is in control, we can say, Jesus is risen, Jesus lives, and therefore, we have hope. circumstances and his fortune. But we see in the bigger arc of biblical history that those promises were really fulfilled in the life and person of Jesus Christ. In him, the Redeemer did stand upon the earth, and in him we saw God's heart for humanity played out on the human stage. But it wasn't just in Christ's life that we saw God's heart revealed. It was also in his death and in his resurrection. 